Well, once again, welcome to Firewalls Manager. Uh, as you can see, today we are opening a box of Iconic Masters. Not the most revered master set, but a master set nonetheless. Um, and one of my first more expensive sets that I'm going to be opening on this channel. Uh, a little special treat for me and you in general. Uh, Iconic Masters, I know, runs the gambit from a lot of different eras, uh, making new cards and reprinting some of the cards, uh, keeping it all, well, within the master set. Um, I know this is kind of the direction they went after, whew, all knocked around there. Uh, after they did their sets that were kind of, you know, this is expert, this is novice, and all of that, uh, they went from there into doing this master set, uh, so that everything was kind of on an even playing field. Wow. And it no longer made people feel like, oh, I can't do this because I don't know the game very well. Uh, it separated out the two without making people feel like they had to be smart to use this one or know the game super well, I guess is more accurate. So we're going to be looking at Iconic Masters. Uh, this will be my first time looking at this set at all. Um, I don't even know if I've watched a video opening of this set by somebody else. So this will be brand new all the way around. Uh, I might be a little quieter than usual while going through this because I really don't know. That's my favorite Evolving Wilds art so far. Look at that art. Well, at least this set order is normal. Formation, Blackwood's Thrall, Thran Domino. Genesis Hydra. Feel X cards to your library. You can put a long land permanent card with converted mana cost X or less. And it gets that number of counters. Nice. And then we have a Radiant Fountain Foil. Okay. So, since I really don't know what to expect with this set at all, uh, what do you guys think about it? What are your pros and cons on the Iconic Masters? Uh, is it overrated? Does it not get the credit it deserves? There's a throwback. Lure. Creature is able to block, must block. Lure went with Venom very well. There's a throwback. Knight of Regular. Reliquary. I can think of a couple things that would go with Scion of the Uyen. Ujin. <laughs> so, with that foil being in that second to last spot twice in a row, I'm going to guess, which I didn't actually realize going into this, that there is a foil in every pack, and so we're not just looking for foils, I'm hoping for the good foils. Um... Sorry if that sounded dumb and you all knew that ahead of time, but like I said, I don't actually know this set at all. You can bet I'm going to be going through it slowly to get a better idea of it. Get our snipe. Jin and Cavern Cards.
Okay. Pay one mana to add two mana. Can't be too bad there. And Hoarding Dragon. Free artifact pick. I don't know, are these lands as beneficial as they seem they might be? Were they overrated? I don't see them floating around a lot, so they must not be as popular as the fetch or uh, the other lands. Well, let's just give that away. Electrolyze. Condescend. Glimpse of the unthinkable. Top 10 cards of the library into the graveyard. Ouch. And guard duty for the foil. Okay. That was the top card in the, maybe two sets ago, <clears throat> or two packs. There's our frost links. Distortion strike. It's real memoir. Blade ring the risen. I'm sorry, that's just a cool art. Mana Drain! There's a throwback card. Counter target spell at the beginning of your next main phase. Add an amount of colorless mana to your mana pool equal to the spell's converted mana cost for a whopping two. Well, we got a Mana Drain. I do believe that that is the card to look for in this set. Um, I did open up deck box and kind of look at the top end, uh, and I believe that was like the card to find. So we got a mana drain, y'all. Okay, Dragon Tempest. Wow, it's beautiful. Wing shards. Target player sacrifices an attacking creature. Prismatic Talisman. Or Pristine Talisman, I can read. Night. Is there Ascendant? As long as you have 30 or more life, gains plus 5, plus 5, and flying. <laughs> and Heat Ray. I don't know. Three mana and a, and a life isn't that bad. Or free mana and a life. I can talk. And a leak. Looks like lots of mana generation in this set. Can Nightblade. Boros Garrison. <laughs> Get a land, return a land, weird. Falconer and Fluster Storm. Well, that's just a rare, but nice. Cast a spell, copy it for each spell cast before this turn. You may choose new targets for the copies. Okay. So I know when Modern came out, that was the promo card that went with it. Uh, Storm cards seem kind of cool, uh, though I can see 
the downside if it's, you know, only the second spell that got cast that turn and they don't try to counter it, you kind of waste the whole thing. But it is a one cast cost counter target instant or sorcery, so pros and cons, they're all built together. Ow. The art and this is all over the place. Um, I guess it's kind of what you would expect from a master's set, one that kind of covers the gambit. Um, it's for the art to actually be varied from all the different types and everything. Windfall. Cavern Ketrit. Carrot. Carotid. I can really pronounce things most of the time, I promise. Defender, draw a card. Indulgent Tormentor. Knight of the Reliquary. So we are getting double rares already. That's interesting. Okay. Hey, is what it is. Angelic Accord. Jin Monk. Right, that's one third of the box. No, I think we'll pull anything else amazing. So these return a land to your hand when you play this, but I guess you get two mana out of it and it. It still comes in tapped. Uh, I don't know. That's a weird one. Till end of turn. Plus seven, plus seven. Destroy non black creature and ruin scarred demon. <laughs> there we go. Tavern cards. Same one. Okay. Thought I, uh, I was mistaken for a moment there. Um, the black and the red coloring really gets lost in the foiling, so it threw me off. So, again, I, uh, how are those cards? Uh, there's a foil of it now. Alright, I apologize for how awkward this video is becoming because I am getting very distracted both by the words and the pictures on these cards. And that must be fun to watch since you're just watching me kind of pause. <laughs> Bubbling Cauldron. Noxious Dragon. Rectos Carnidium. And... Malfigor. Tormenting Voices. Hey, got the mana drain though, I mean. Can't be doing too bad with this box. Just enchant. Bond. <laughs> Sanguine Blonde. Bond, Bond, Bond. There's no L in there. Mind Crank. Dragon Loft Idol. And Tefiri, Mage of Zalfir. Zalfir. Zalfir? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield have flash. Each opponent can cast spells only at the times he or she or she could cast sorceries. Yeah, that's actually kind of a fun one. And condescend.
There's more of those tormenting voices. I can hear them now. Lightning Helix. Cephalid Broker. Angelic Accord. And Savage Born Hydra. Followed by a shiny. It's a shiny zombie. I have been completely distracted by this. Uh, hunting pack, Chronicler of Heroes, Aetherize, return all attacking creatures to their owner's hand. Ouch. Blood Baron Visco Viscopa. And praise vengeance. <laughs> Right. Well, if I had any patrons at a higher level, uh, this would definitely have fallen under the modern category. Uh, every month I open up a box for each level of my Patreon, um, and then out of that I select a card. Uh, randomly selected a card for each person that supported me at that level. Uh, at this point, I don't have a lot of people supporting, which is okay. Uh, but it just means that I'm only selecting from the rares and the mythics and randomly selecting for those who are supporting um, and sending them one of those. Sandstone Oracle, Hero's Bane, Shattershock, and Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. And along with a thief. So if you're interested in supporting, um, whether in watching this whole scenario get better with each video, or you just enjoy putting it on mute and watching what's opened, or you just want to see somebody supported and get a random card in the mail every month, uh, go ahead and take a look at my Patreon. Uh, link is going to be in the description below. Uh, I do appreciate anything to help support and move this through, and I enjoy being able to share all of this with you. Uh, Johnny's Pride Mate, Jungle Barrier, Trepidation Blade, it's a cool looking blade, and Aether Vial. I remember hearing somebody talk about this not too long ago. The, the it's good and bad at the same time kind of conversation and assault formation. So yeah, go ahead and give me a support. Uh, depending on what level you get depends on what I open up for you uh, at any given time. Of course, boxes like this would be good for the higher levels. It's not exactly a cheap box, uh, but at the same time, I do standard, I do recent modern, I do older modern. If somebody's willing to support me, I'll even start opening vintage boxes and sending those out. Uh, just for the fun of it, just to see what happens. Uh, as I go forward, I plan on having guest openers. Uh, friends that enjoy opening packs as much as I do. Go, just open a box for you, or open part of a box and talk about it, their favorite parts, or whatever. Uh, Misha's Bobble, Hoarding Dragon, Rift Bolt. Okay, Curse of Predation, and Elusive Spell first. Hmm. So, yeah. I mean, really, I'm doing this whole thing for everybody else, so... Well, I'm doing it for me, but I'm doing it be 
for me because I enjoy opening packs with other people and I don't know a lot of people who enjoy sitting around opening packs. So I figured I'd do it online. Uh, another of the charms. Another cavern. Stagger Shock. There's the Horizon Canopy. There's a shock land for you if I saw one. That, I do hear people talking about all the time, so I know that's at least worth a dime. <laughs> so other than the mana drain and the fireball, uh, and I think there was a mana sink or something like that, this doesn't really quite take me back to the old day stuff. There's a lot of things in here that I'm just like, okay, I have to look into that, double check on that. Ooh, Mindstone. That art's familiar. Haunting him. Yeah, that goes back to some of the older arts. Overgrown Battlement. Corpse Jack Menace, Magus of the Moon, non-basic lands are mountains. <laughs> so the question is, does that mean that they only produce red or they just count as mountains for other cards, but still produce the same mana that is written on them? Blade Wings Thrall. Okay, well. Two mythics out of here so far. Uh, got less than a third left to go. Let's see what we can pull out. <laughs> All right, Fog Bank, Blizzard Spectre. Palladium Mirror. Have to add two color lists. And Grove of the Burn Willows. Give your opponent a life to produce colored mana. <laughs> and Guided Strike. I bet this would be a fun set to draft with somebody. This just seems like one of those sets that there's enough variation in the card types and the power levels. Mana Leak, that's the one I was thinking about earlier. But yeah, no, there's enough variation, it looks like, in the power levels and the card types and the color combos uh, that drafting it would make for a really fun time. Uh, it must have been at the when this came out. If they did much drafting with it, I know when Modern Horizons came out, my local store kind of did some stuff. And I just kicked over my light. I apologize. Hold on a second while I correct technical difficulties. Mental note, don't move my foot over there. <laughs> oh, I just can't win. Okay. Wing Shards, Illusionary Angel. And I just saw that, I know you did. That was a Foiled Horizon Canopy. That is awesome. Uh, right behind the Blood Ghast. Wow. Look at that foil. Well, I have very little to complain about. Uh, that will probably just jump right on my eBay to help me recuperate to be able to do more of these boxes. If you're interested in it, I will post my eBay link down below. Uh, you can go ahead and take a look at what I have on there. Uh, this particular one might not be on there till December though. Uh, I don't know, I'll take a look at it. I might do it sooner. Uh, I do appreciate when they do the free listings so you only have to pay if they're sold, but something like that I'm pretty sure will actually go pretty fast so I won't have to worry about a 30 cent listing fee. Also, right.
or solve Basilica Demir Aqueduct. Huh. Two lands in a row, followed by a Charm Breaker Doubles. And search for tomorrow. So, yeah. I mean, and that's mainly what I'm doing the eBay selling for. Um, if I get big enough or if enough people start following me and are interested in what I'm selling, I will look at other options for selling. Uh, if you see something on here, I mean, this very first box that I'm going through is probably going to go into a set collection. Uh, but if you want to make an offer on one of the rare cards or something like that, uh, shoot me a message. Um, I'd be more than happy to work with you with some of these uh, to go ahead and make sure that I can continue doing this for you. Also, consider being one of my Patreons. I mean, like I said, this will go out to my Patreon supporters, or it would if I had people supporting at this level right now. Undercity Troll, Bog Brew Witch, Simic Growth Chamber, and Channel. Now there's a card I remember. Until the end of a turn, anytime you could activate a mana ability, you may pay one life. If you do, add colorless to your mana pool. It's worded so much better than it used to be. Bladder Thug, first strike. Getting distracted, sorry. Oh, channel is a mythic. Three mythic box. I got mana drain and channel out of that. Nice. Okay. So, and again, like I've said a few times, I am just getting started in this. I am more than happy to hear your comments, uh, what you think about what how I'm doing, uh, comments on how I possibly could get better. I know some people are just going to say I talk too much, I don't talk enough, my voice is funny, all that other stuff. That's fine. Comment away. I will listen to what you have to say, and if I think you're being serious about it, I will take it in, in need. Great Teacher's Decree. Sauté Flare. Swords to Plowishers. There's a card I remember. And Austere Command. Wow. And Dead Riddler. And last pack. Question is, is it a dud? Is it the best pack of the thing? Is it just another one in the middle? Alright, let's jump. There we go. And we have Skywise Teachings, Colgrath Monument, Topan Free Blade, and Kiga the Tide Star, which appears to be a dragon spirit. If he dies, you can control the creature. Followed by Jace's Phantasm. All right. Well, that was our Iconic Masters box. Uh, we got some nice things there. Really nice shiny horizon canopy there. I uh, don't think I can complain about that at all. I am definitely going to be looking up the value of some of these cards uh, just in general. Anyway, thank you for joining me again for Fievel's Mana Short. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it.